can you sum up today for the team? Well, I mean, it wasn't particularly great. I mean, you know, when the, when the race was going, we only had uh, two riders left in the group. I mean, Heinrich worked to close up, uh, you know, to close up the gap a little bit earlier, and he was out the back. And then, uh, so we had Tor and Tyler left. And, uh, you know, Tyler was totally willing to, to work for Tor, but obviously Tor wasn't feeling that good. As you can see in the Vosburg, he got dropped. So, you know, when Tyler asked me if he should work on the front, I said no, because uh, we just really didn't have that many cards to play. And uh, I was hoping, hope against hope, that maybe everything would come back together, you know, right at the very end, and, uh, and we might have a chance in the sprint. But, I mean, in the end of the day, when you have two riders and one is, is basically saying he doesn't have it, you don't have any other options other than just to say, you know, sit in and, and hope for the best. Sure. Does it feel like the team's taken a bit of a step back since San Remo? Wow. I mean, we haven't really done, you know, particularly well in any of the classics so far. Um, you know, I mean, the guys have worked well together. Um, you know, we've executed our plans, but at the end of the day, you have to be strong. And, uh, you know, so far, none of our guys have been 100% on top of top of their game and um, you know I mean of course there's little pieces of bad luck mixed in there um, you know crashes and Sep today was off in the ditch and whatever but you know the classics are made up of bad luck so you have to you have to deal with that I mean end of the day I think you know no matter how good your team is and how good your plan is and how good your tactics are and how you know how well you execute in a plan you know you just have to be strong I mean look at Consolera had no teammates with him for the last 80k of the race and he still almost won. I mean, it just goes to show you, you know, it, it, you have to be really strong. And, and at this point in time, you know, our, our guys just aren't totally there. I mean, I think Tyler's very much close to the top of his game, but he's a sprinter. I mean, he's got to be the one having other people pull for him. He can't, you know, he can't be pulling himself. And, and that's basically what almost happened today, where, you know, Tyler was saying, should I pull? And, I mean, if you do that, then, then you've got absolutely no chance. So, of course, the answer is no. Are there too many leaders, perhaps? I don't think it's that. It's, it's just uh, because if you have too many leaders, then you would have, you know, four guys coming in the front group and they can't figure out who's going to sprint, right? But we didn't have four guys in the front group, did we? Sure. So, no, I mean, I don't think it's that. It's, it's simply that you, you've got to uh, you've got to have the legs first and foremost. And, and so far, that's just not the case. Why, why don't you have the legs? I mean, it is on paper one of the, one of the strongest classics teams and... You've said that you want it to be the strongest team in the world this yeah, year. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, and we and we have to chip away at that all year. I mean, you want to be the number one ranked team in the world, like we have to race well in September too. You know, I, I mean, it, obviously, we're not going to get it done in April. Um, but you know, I mean, I can't put my finger on it. I mean, it's just that uh, you know Heinrich, I think is kind of on a comeback year, you know? He didn't race much last year, so he doesn't have the foundation for 260K races. I said that in January. Tor, I can't say that I, you know, that I that I know exactly why he's not on top of his game. Tyler, I think, is very close to on top of his game, but he has to have, you know, a team around him to support him, and if his teammates aren't at their best, then, you know, then he's not gonna be able to do that. What can you do between now and Paru Bay? Well, I mean, I think the biggest thing is that, you know, from a fitness standpoint, we're not going to be able to change anything. So, uh, the biggest thing is just going to be to, uh, you know, to, to basically just, again, just focus on executing and getting as many guys in the front group as possible and then, and then hoping for the best in the day. But, you know, we're not going to change our fitness in five, six days. So, it's really just a matter of, uh, you know, trying to keep morale up the best we can and, and focusing on, you know, that race is a little bit flatter. It's a little bit more suited to Tyler and Tor. And, so, you know, we're just going to have to focus on, on trying to keep our game plan there. And, you know, I mean, quite frankly, obviously, we won't be the favorite going into that race in any way, shape, or form. So maybe that'll help us out a little bit.